Good morning, I'm Tina Jennings. Now we're starting out the new year with a spotlight on an upcoming theater production at a venue you may not have heard of before. Here to tell us about the community players are Pat and Morgan Fitch. You guys, thank you so much for joining me today. Well, thank you for having us. We were uh, just chit chatting a little bit before the show and talking about your history, which we'll dive into a little bit here in a moment. But let's talk about community players as a whole and kind of give me a background on uh, the, the group. Community Players at one time, starting in 2003, was known as the Red Barn Theater Company. Oh, okay. They did do their productions at the Red Barn Theater, but when this new space became available in 2014, they jumped on it because they needed more space and they just wanted to change their venue and um, it's, it's worked out very well. Well, how did both of you get involved? We came to Arizona three years ago also and had been actors uh, for almost 30 years. So we just started auditioning around town and Scott Berg was uh, the head of the group and uh, also the, the director for the show that we auditioned for. And that's how we got started for. It was the very first yep. show that they had done at the theater. Really? And it was a series of Carol Burnett skits. That must have been fun. Oh, <laughs> a lot of fun. fun. A lot of fun. And so now you're putting on a new hat, basically. We were talking about how you've been acting uh, for so long. Now you're taking the director's hat uh, and yes, putting I it on. Uh, did you specifically want to pick this production as your first? Well, 10 plus years ago, Morgan yeah. and I starred in it. And um, we loved the show so much that we wanted an opportunity to direct it because we knew that we were getting too old to be in it. <laughs> so uh, it's been a real adventure. Yeah. I, I love the process. I didn't realize fully how much responsibility yeah. it is, but uh, no, it's, it's, a, it's a very fun process. So if someone hasn't had a chance to see this production, tell me about it. What's the plot? What are we gonna see? It's called Murder in Green Meadows by Douglas Post. And it's a story about a very successful architect and his wife who move into one of his recent developments, one of the first houses in the development, and they are befriended by one of the neighbors, or both of the neighbors, I should say, husband and wife, and it takes a turn from very light and cheery to very diabolical. Oh. So I don't want to give too much away. <laughs> no, 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 don't give us any of the good juicy stuff. Yeah. But we know you're directing, mm -hmm. uh, and we know you guys, like I said, you're going from the acting side to more of uh, behind the scenes, but who, who will be in the production? The, um, the roles will be played by uh, Brian Woodcock, who plays the part of Thomas Devereaux. His wife, Joan, is played by Monica Wolfkill. And the neighbors are Jeff and Carolyn Simon, played by Eric Everts and Myella Morales. And I'm sure they're so excited uh, to be in this production. Yes, they are. And so we, of course, want everyone to come out and see. And I mentioned at the top that th this may be at a venue that some people haven't been to or haven't heard of. Tell me where this is going to be played at. It's on North Oracle, 1881 North Oracle. And I don't know if anybody remembers the La Fuente restaurant, but it is just north of there. Okay. And it used to be an adult bookstore. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> some so, people may remember that yeah, also. Yeah, there you go. But uh, when it was taken over in 2014, it took about two weeks to get a stage built and a production put up. And ever since, every show has been an improvement. The stages are different. The people that come and see it, they are amazed at what can be put on in that space. It seats roughly 75. 75. Oh, I love the intimate. Yes. Yes. Uh, you really get to kind of feel to, like you're a part mm -hmm. of uh, the scenes. Very much so. Oh, I love this. And so, of course, uh, we now who's we know who's going to be in it. We kind of know the plot line, but we got a, a, some surprises that are coming up. When will this start playing? This will open this Friday, yay, January sixth, and run for three weeks weekends, uh, Friday and Saturday night at seven thirty, and on Sunday a matinee at two. Perfect. And the tickets are twelve dollars a piece. What a bargain! Yeah. Such a bargain, such a great venue, like I said, that some people may have not know was right underneath their nose. Absolutely. Some great theater that they can see in their own backyard. We have some great people that are behind the scenes. We have some great actors that are going to be in it. And we can, of course, uh, get tickets online or by calling. Absolutely. Making it very easy for us. What a great way to start out the new year here on the show, Keep talking about this great production. Good luck with your first directing uh, well, thank you. debut. Thank, thank you. you, guys. Please tell uh, the whole cast that we said good luck.
Uh, Thank you. We very will. Much. Oh, absolutely. Now you're invited to Murder in Green Meadows starting this Friday, running through the 22nd. For reservations, call 887-6239 or visit communityplayerstucson.org.